so we didn't even start yet. Uh, I checked the weather. It shouldn't be raining anymore. Hmm. Seems like we have early coffee break. What's up, girls? Hey, sweetie. So the next thing we need to do is work out the baton spacing. Uh, girls. So how much the battens needs to be, uh, how far they need to be apart. Hey Kira. So, 
These dials have here. There should be one more here. Aquí de por favor. Ah. Kira, I'm trying to explain something to the people from YouTube. Do you want to explain to them? Hmm? I didn't think so. What I was saying. <laughs> So these have two notches and then the battery would come like uh, that. No, like that. So if you turn the thing around, then the baton would be right there. And then what I didn't realize in the beginning is these tiles half overlap each other in comparison to those tiles they go like that these go like half over so yeah if we then look at the next button that is also fitting to the notches then we need to know this distance so if we can put all the buttons like in the same distance from each other uh, another difference with the main house is that on the mini rebuild um, we have like only one side of a roof like in comparison to the main house where it goes up on one side and down on the other side uh, the roof of the mini rebuild it just goes down on one side clean to I don't know exactly how this construction is called, but um, that means that we ca cannot cut the top tiles. Like here, we cut the top tiles and then we put on the ridge tile and it covered like the, like the, tile, we, the tile we cut uh, the most in the top. Uh, but here we cannot do that because we have no ridge tile. So what I'm gonna do is we need to measure out what is the complete distance from uh, the highest point to the lowest point here, like this part. And then we need to see that we end up um, in the bottom and in the top with a whole tile. At least that's my idea. So the tiles have a little bit of play per tile. So we have about 10 rows, so we should be able to get some maneuverability in there. Let's head back to the tiles. So, like the pattern is now here, we can scoot the tile down until about there. That would mean, let's do this very amateuristic. Oh, wait a sec. So yeah, that's actually not so much play. Three and a half centimeters. So 10 times three and a half centimeters would be 35 centimeters. One tile is 42 centimeters. What did I say? 35. So yeah, that leaves us with almost like a whole tile of uh, uh, maneuverability. So I should be able to like fix only whole tiles per row. Now, due to the fact that they are overlapping, one thing I didn't count on, because in the last video I said it would be nice to have like a little overhang on one side and then I don't have to cut the tiles, but because these tiles overlap half, I will always have to like, to end it up straight, I have to cut the tiles. Also not a problem, 
although we need to cut them. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, the roof is three meters 80. I'm gonna do some of my advanced calculation <laughs> and see uh, what batten spacing I want. Because like if we are gonna do, for instance, like it is now, 32 centimeters. No, this is the minimum. So plus three and a half. 35 and a half would be like the normal setting when you have them like <coughs> the full length. So I'm gonna do some calculations and how I can get only whole tiles in three meter 80. I'll get back to you on that. Uh, I believe Dwight's gonna do some sanding inside the mini rebuild um, for the rafters. Also needs to be done. Right, Dwight? Yes. I think I've worked it out. So the covering part of the tile, so let's say this part, so not this part that goes under the other tile, this part is 37 centimeters. So if I take 10 tiles, I have 3 meter 70. Now I need 3 meter 80 for the span, but I want to overlap, so I took on both sides 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters on the front and 10 centimeters on the back. Maybe the front I'm gonna be a little less, maybe seven, and then the back I'm gonna be a little bit longer. So if I have 370 for 10 tiles, 11 tiles would make me four meter seven. 11 rows. That would actually be perfect. So we're gonna try that. If anybody uh, spotted any flaws in my calculation, please tell me now. <laughs> and it will be already too late. <laughs> Step one of the buttons and the insulation. Check. Look 
looking good. And now we can walk on the roof again. Yeah, because the load is more divided with the better load. <laughs> Gorgeous evening here. Gorgeous. <laughs> You can hear Dwight is uh, sending inside. Oh, you probably saw it on the video also. <laughs> so yeah, I also wanted to continue with the um, horizontal battens but uh, we don't have enough battens <laughs> so I'll be doing some shopping tomorrow uh, need to um, calculate how much I need first 11 12 13 times 3 meters 80 I'll get an exact number on that <laughs> Yeah, from a lovely evening here in the ghost town. See you in the next video. If you like this one, give it a like. If you like more of our videos, maybe take a subscription. Or if you like Dwight. And uh, see you all in the next video. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get, to, get Dwight to say goodbye. Oh, Dwight! Edward! What? Say goodbye to the people from the YouTube. Goodbye! <laughs> See you in the next video! <laughs> See you in the next video, guys! Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal Project. If you want to follow the Portugal Project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook. Or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at the Portugal Project.